Right now where the current rain is at, mainly south of Crawfordsville and between Crawfordsville and Greencastle. Tracking to the east, Lebanon, you have some light rain showers. Earlier, we had a few thunderstorms tracking just south of Lafayette. That is starting to die down and decrease in that intensity a little bit as it rolls into Frankfurt. We have some heavier rain, though, that is just north of Greencastle. This will likely start to move in and impact Brownsburg and impacting 74 as well. But you can see live Doppler 13 for the rest of the area, mainly on the quieter side. We have a stray shower just south of Bloomington that impacted parts of Lake Monroe, but we have some breaks in the clouds allowing for a little bit of sunshine through in Indianapolis. It's 75 degrees earlier. Our dew points were in the low 60s, so it was slightly humid. Now they're in the 50s, so a little bit more comfortable. Winds are out of the east about eight miles per hour. Live Doppler 13 areas that are seeing a little bit more of that sunshine, a little bit warmer. 78 in Shelbyville, 79 and Bedford, Greencastle 74, and a little bit more rainfall in Kokomo throughout the majority of the day, which has now cleared, but has kept those temperatures a little bit cooler at 66 degrees. So our severe outlook keeps a low risk for severe weather. That's that green color south of I-70 as we go into the evening hours, but a scattered thunderstorm will be possible throughout the rest of the evening into the night. Scattered thunderstorms really start to pick up later tonight south of Bloomington, possibly impacting Bedford as well. Maybe one or two of those on the strong to severe side. So tonight scattered thunderstorms, Otherwise, it's going to be cloudy. Temperatures will be cooling down into those low 60s. Now, tomorrow we're going to be drying out a little bit more sunshine by those afternoon with high temperatures in the middle to upper 70s. Future track 13 starting at 5 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow, mainly dry and isolated shower during the afternoon. And then once clouds start to clear on out overnight into Friday, we could have a foggy start and then temperatures warming on up into the 80s this weekend.